Hey guys, it's Stacy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a clothing haul for you and I'm going to try on all of the pieces. And I've got a lot of really great stuff that is going to be perfect for this summer to fall transition. So if you're into it, please make sure that you keep watching. And also please make sure that you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have a really great mix of stuff for you guys. I have things from Lulu's, Windsor, Misguided, Goodnight Macaroon, and a top from American Eagle. So a really nice hodgepodge of things. So let's just get started with all the stuff from Lulu's. So the first thing is this beige, I believe it's called the beige shift dress. And I really like how it has this plain neckline. It comes up pretty high on me. I like the plain short sleeves. It's a cute length, a good fit on the body. And it also has an exposed gold hardware zipper on the back. Other than that, just really simple. And I think you can accessorize it really well. I think this would look so cute during the fall with some over the knee boots. This next piece is really exciting because I think that this might be my 23rd birthday dress. This is just a little black dress from Lulu's. I believe it's actually Lulu's brand. Yeah, it's Lulu's brand. And I really love the Lulu's black dress selection. They have everything from like more conservative pieces to really skimpy pieces. It just depends what you want, but they're all really great. And I really think that this is going to be my 23rd birthday dress. I like the back. I just like how it's really simple. And yeah, I think this is going to be my birthday dress, birthday dress in a couple of weeks. Next piece from Lulu's is this beige, peachy beige top. And this is just a V-neck neckline. And then it has these amazing bell sleeves, which I think is so cute. I really love that. And then the back comes down low as well. But then this right here really helps hug to you so that it's not kind of like weird on the back. I don't know how to explain it to you other than this like really helps give support in the back when you're wearing it. So yes, I love that one. Next piece I got from Lulu's is really similar to the first one that I showed you guys, but I really love this shape of a dress. It's another shift dress, and this one is an olive green. It does not come up quite as high on the neckline, and it's got this really great open back. I just thought that was really unique and cute, and I love the shade olive. I actually wanted to get the beige one in olive too, but I didn't want to get two of the same dress because I am notorious for that. If I like something, I'm like, I'll get it in every color, but... I wanted to get one that was a little bit more different, and I do like that this one has that open back. But again, I think that, ow. But again, I think that this would be really cute for the fall time with a pair of over the knee black boots. So that's really the next thing on my list. Moving on to the next piece from Lulu's, which I did not want to hang because I didn't want to ruin the sleeves. This is a gray turtleneck long sleeve sweater dress. Hugs the body, not too tight, but again, I think that this would look so great with a pair of black over the knee suede boots. I just imagine myself wearing this like a ton this fall and I just think it's like a really great basic piece that again, you can dress up or dress down depending on your liking and I love gray. So the next piece that I got from Lulu's is this white tank. It, I really liked the button detail on it and I love the sateen finish of this fabric and it also has a really nice weight to it which I was surprised by. It's not lightweight. Um, I mean like it's not heavy but it feels luxurious because of the weight that this fabric has to it. And then another cute little touch that it came with is this neck scarf. So it's a really thin neck scarf and you can wear it as a little like you could do whatever you want you could tie it in a bow tie it just down regular and i thought this would also be cute to kind of wear as a white choker so and then i did get one more little black dress from lulu's and this one i would say is a little bit more sexy this one has as you guys can see you can see straight through it it's got this exposed keyhole in the front on the chest and then the back is also completely exposed but it is long sleeves and it does come down a little bit longer but again this is definitely something that hugs the body but I think this would be good for like going out dancing or going to the club. That's what I picture this dress being for. And then the last piece of clothing that I got from Lulu's is this white bodysuit. I was going to say leotard. I mean, it technically is a leotard, right? But um, I really love when bodysuits come with snaps at the crotch because then you don't have to get naked in a public restroom to go pee which is sometimes what you have to do in rompers and stuff, but I like when the bodysuits have the snaps at the crotch, and I try to always get bodysuits with snaps at the crotch. It's really inconvenient when your bodysuit does not have snaps at the crotch, so I appreciate that this has snaps. And it is an over the shoulder. It's got this nice stretch to it, so I really love this. Um, the last piece that I got from Lulu's is this 
double buckle belt. And I believe I was initially intrigued by this because I think the first person I saw wearing one of these was Lily Aldrich and I love her style and I really wanted one and so I got this one. They do have, I think, a couple other ones that have bigger um, buckles. So if you want something with a bigger buckle, I know that I think that they have more <laughs> with the bigger buckles. So yeah, and then it's easy because it snaps at the back. So you're not trying to fit two buckles through your belt loops. You just snap it at the back and that's how you will get yourself in and out of this one. Next up is Windsor and I'm gonna show these shoes first because I put them off to the side and I'm afraid if I don't do them first, I'll forget about them. So these are the booty fringe, look at that. Isn't that so cute? They have like fringe on the side and I like that they have zippers on either side of the boot. And my fringe hangs down like a little bit too low for my liking on some spots and I don't want to ruin these. I want to take care of them. So I'm going to kind of cut my fringe off a little bit just so that I don't have to worry about it hanging off and getting ruined. But these are super cute. I'm excited about them. And then also another piece that I got from Windsor. Another piece that I got from Windsor is this choker and I am obsessed with it. If you guys could see the way that this glistens in the sun, it's like liquid gold and it's just so beautiful and I feel like it looks so luxurious. I just, I really like this choker. So this is from Windsor as well. They have a lot of really cute accessories, rings, earrings, necklaces, uh, body chains. This is the, I remember the name of it because it's really cute. It's the major key bodysuit and it's just kind of this like, blue steel color and I really liked how it's lace up because you guys know I still really love the lace up trend. Uh, I was really crazy about lace up and then I got really crazy about off the shoulder so yeah I really like the color I just think it's unique and it'll look cute under sweaters and stuff like that and it's a bodysuit. My stamp of approval for snaps at the crotch. <laughs> now we can move on to that crop top that I was really excited about. This is that burgundy deep V crop top. I really like the fabric that it's made out of because it hugs to your body and it just looks really sleek on the skin. It, when I'm wearing a crop top, I don't want it to be in the middle. I either want it to be loose or nice and hugged to the body. Otherwise, I'm just kind of like, uh, it doesn't really look like it fits right. You know what I mean? If it's slouchy and cute and bohemian, that's fine. But when I'm wearing stuff like this that has a lot of shape to it, I really want it to hug to my body. I love this color. I'm really, I was drawn to it because of the color. So next piece from Windsor is this mocha crop top. And as you guys can see, it has a choker attached to it, which I thought was really cool and different because I don't have any shirts that have like an attached choker. So I really liked that about it. And I like how you can wear the sleeves over the shoulder or off the shoulder. So I thought that that was really cute. And I really like this taupey mocha shade. Next piece from Winsa. Oh, this one I'm so excited about, guys. So this is, uh, I don't know, I've never owned a top in this color. It's kind of like a taupey plum. I love the plunging neckline. And again, I really love the fabric that this top is made out of because it hugs to your body so perfectly. And the fabric has like this ever so slight sheen to it. It's really beautiful. And this also has, again, an attached choker, but it comes up through the top. So you have this on your chest, which I thought was just like really cool and different. And I like how it has the attached choker. So yeah, I was really into it. I like the fit and it's got long sleeves. So this is gonna look really cute with um, like high-waisted jeans, skirts, stuff like that. I got another choker top from Windsor, but I was really liking the way that these are looking on the models and I've never had a choker top So I was just like going crazy with them So this one is a gray long sleeve sweater with a choker top and seriously when I hold it up I know it just looks like really weird But this one is meant to be worn off the shoulder and then I like how the choker comes up through the back So you don't see it at all and it's just a nice gray sweater. I like how it hugs the body It's really pretty I like the shade of gray I just really like gray, guys. <laughs> I'm so excited about gray tops. Next top from Windsor, I'm so excited about. I'm excited about everything in this haul, but I think you guys can tell that I was just really drawn to this shade. I just love how this is like this flirty, off-the-shoulder, light, flouncy top, but it's this really seductive, deep wine shade. I like how it has um, button detailing at the ends of the sleeves. I just think it looks really different and unique, and I just, I was so drawn to this color so I don't know but 
this is amazing. I think it's going to be a really great fall piece. Next piece I got from Windsor is another sweater, sweater, sweater dress. This is a gray sweater dress. It has this ruched detailing towards the end. I like how it's kind of not really a gray. It's actually like black and white mixed together to make this like effective gray. So I really like that. And then it's got one of my favorite types of necklines, the mock neck. Have I discussed my love for the mock neck enough on my channel? I don't even really know, but obviously not enough if I don't know if I've talked about it enough. I love the mock neck. I think it is one of my most favorite necklines. It is one of my most favorite necklines, but I think that it is one of the most flattering necklines. I love mock necks. Ooh, and this next piece I'm really excited about. This is a baby blue off the shoulder um, top, and obviously this is a little bit light for fall, but I still really love this color, and I was just drawn to this color for some reason. But I like how this off the shoulder top looks because it's got kind of that layered sleeve, and it just looks really, really cute, and I think it's going to look great with some denim and some booties, and I just really liked that. Okay, so this light blue top was the last top, last piece that I got from Windsor, and I'm just going to really quickly do this random American Eagle tank because I really love this. I've actually worn this twice already. I really love this rusty camel shade. Whenever I wear this, my friends give me compliments on how it like really makes my skin tone pop, and it looks good with my eyes and my hair color, so I love that, but most of all, what I really love about this shade is it really gives me like American Hustle vibes. I think the whole wardrobe and color palette of that movie is really this rusty camel shade and I loved the American Hustle wardrobe. <laughs> Amazing. On to Misguided and the first thing that I'll actually show you guys even though it's not the first thing in the pile is another top in this rusty camel shade. I just really love it and this is a bodysuit. Snap and closure at the crotch, A plus, and a mock neck. And I thought the texture of this was so unique. I was drawn to the color and the texture of the piece. I love the fabric, and I don't know, I just don't have anything that's like, you know, this type of fabric. So I really, really love this, and love that it's a mock neck. So anyway, back to this top because I thought I was recording but I wasn't. This is an off the shoulder white top from Misguided. It has these amazing, gigantic bell sleeves. And then it also has these really cute tie details on it, so that looks really cute. It's a really nice lightweight cotton. I believe this is cotton. Um, I don't know. But it's a really nice lightweight fabric, and I really like how that looks. Next and last piece from Misguided is this olive green bodysuit. So snap and closure at the crotch. Maybe these all have snap and closures, so maybe the people who make bodysuits got the hint that girls don't like having to completely get out of a bodysuit to use the restroom. So yes, um, <laughs> this one has a really high neck. I mean, it comes right up to the top of my neck. There is no, like it doesn't hit the collarbone or anything. It's just right up on my neck like a choker. And then sleeveless, and I was just really, I like this color. I think it's going to be really pretty as a staple for fall. All right, and I'm going to finish off the haul with a few pieces from Goodnight Macaroon. I think I found out about Goodnight Macaroon through Carly Bible. They have a lot of, re I think it was Carly Bible, but they have a lot of really cute, unique pieces that you don't really see anywhere else. So the first thing I got is this denim pair of jeans. Um, the weird thing about these jeans though is that they don't sell by size, like numbered sizes, which is what I kind of look for because that's easier. They only sell small, medium, large, extra large, so I got these in a size small, but I was like kind of nervous because, you know, I, I don't know, that's just weird for me for pants, so I just kind of treated it like leggings, I guess, but it's a really nice dark wash denim and it has like just ever so slightly has distressed pieces on it, but it's nothing extreme. So that is the first thing I got. Next thing I got, I really was intrigued by the fabric of this piece because I don't have anything that is this kind of fabric. I'll zoom you guys in so you can see. It's kind of this like, I don't know, it's shiny and it's got ridges, like a r Ruffles Ridge chip. <laughs> It's my chip shirt, but it's just, I don't know how else to describe it to you guys because it's, it even like feels like the texture is different and it's got like a little bit of sheen to it. So it's really pretty. I love the neckline. You guys know I love a high neckline. I just think it's very like chic and sophisticated. So I picked up that. Next thing is, 
an over off the shoulder shirt. <laughs> this one is red though and I thought that that was so cool. I don't have a red off the shoulder shirt. I don't even really ever wear red, but I think that's why I really wanted this. And again, I just like the material of off the shoulder shirts because they're very like flowy and flirty and they just flounce everywhere. And I thought that these sleeves were also really cute. So very excited to wear that one. And then the last piece from Goodnight Macaroon, which is also the last piece of clothing for this haul, is this giant blanket sweater. I mean, I can't even like hold it up in the picture for you guys without it just looking like this giant piece of fabric, but this is gonna be so amazing to wear this fall and winter and spring because it's like wearing a blanket. Like I love wearing these going out or going to the movies, not going out like dancing or something, you know what I mean, or to the bars or whatever, but just like, you know, out and about doing stuff during the winter because it's like, you can literally just wrap up in this. Obviously you'd be wearing it, but you can just wrap yourself up in these kinds of sweaters and it's like you're wearing a blanket all the time and it's very comforting and yeah, as long as you wear like a nice shirt and a nice pair of jeans and nice boots with it, you don't look sloppy. You look very like distressed Soho mom. Is, was that a good description? I don't know. All right, guys, so that's it for this haul. I hope you liked it. You have to let me know. What do you prefer? Do you like the clothing being just held up or do you like it when it's a try-on haul or do you not care if it's try-on? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, please don't forget to come follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm gonna have all three down below for you guys and I'm also going to link as many of these pieces as I can for you guys so that if they're available, you're able to purchase them if you like them. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one. Bye guys.